Hello folks, I am uh, Dr. Anil Herur and I head the Surgical Oncology Department at Fortis Hospital here. Today, I am going to give you a sneak peek into the modern operation theatre, the temple where the surgeon loves to be there, loves to work and spends most of his time. Now, you are all, I think, curious about and most excited about this new thing that is happening in surgery today, that is robotic surgery. Most people, when they say, hear the word robo, they feel that the robo is a humanoid that is going to walk in and talk in a metallic way and then do certain tasks on its own. It's a complete myth. The robo is not an independent thinking machine. It is a complete slave and master machine where the surgeon controls each and every movement. And I'm going to give you a complete rundown on how this machine looks and how this machine works. Before that, let me give you a short look at what the modern operation theater looks like. So you see this table here, this is the operating table where the patient lies. These are modern tables, these can move up, down, right, left, they are hydraulically powered. That you can see is the anesthesia cart, a very, very complex piece of machinery now because you need to monitor various gas levels like carbon dioxide, oxygen, you need to monitor the pulse, blood pressure, give the exact mixture of the anesthesia gases. So very, very complex. You need very competent and very com uh, uh, experienced anesthetist to give anesthesia when you're doing complex surgeries like robotic surgery. You see this uh, uh, um, fitting here. That is what we call as the HEPA filter. It gives uh, pure, uh, pure uh, purified air, which goes as a laminar flow. It helps to reduce infections. The other thing is this, these lights, these fancy lights that you see are very strong lights that illuminate and help us to see better when we are doing surgery. Now let me come to the main part of uh, today's video that is the surgical robo. Now this robotics is used in many fields like orthopedics, neuro neurosurgery, uh, ophthalmology but today what we are going to talk about is a robo that is used for general surgery oncosurgery and urology, gynecology. So this friends is basically what we call as the vision card. Now as the name suggests, it's a part which houses the eyes, ears and the brain of the robo. So this is the screen which helps us to see. Not only that, this is a responsive screen. So you can see that I can draw on this screen. Can you see that? You, I can draw on this screen. I can actually rub it also. Because if I want to point out to my assistant certain structures, then I simply draw a line like this and point out those structures on the, uh, uh, while the surgery is going on. The other thing is this you can see here is the electrocautery which gives energy to burn blood vessels, to cut, etc. The rest of the machines are all machines which are actually used in order to uh, help in laparoscopic surgery or minimally access surgery or robotic surgery. Now let me come to the next thing that is the patient card. Now this is the picture that you will normally see when we talk about robotic surgery because this is the part which actually does the hard work. It goes on into the, uh, goes near the uh, patient's table and these arms as I will show you next are going to go in and actually do the, do the surgery. So these are the robotic arms. You can see that these are four arms, one, two, three, and four. These are the arms that will actually go inside. And now we do a procedure called as docking, which we can't show you to you on a live patient. Obviously that would be not legal. We are going to do a dry docking of the robo. And this is my colleague Prashant. Prashant is a trained robotic technician. Remember, these are not surgeries that are done in isolation. You need a very, very trained, dedicated team which is as tuned into the robotic surgery as the surgeon is. Uh, in fact, when we, when we got in the robo, we trained our technician and nurses first, and then the surgeons got trained on the robo because complex machineries require these people who are completely immersed in the technology. Now, Prashant will actually uh, help us dock this robo. You can see the movement of the machine. Prashant, can you move the machine? Can you start docking? You can see that the uh, this is called as the boom of the robo and the boom of the robo is now moving. It moves forward. 
and we bring in the patient card. Drive the laser line to the endoscope Okay, so that's how now the robo is ready for use. Now what I'm going to do is uh, place in these metallic cannulas. These are called as ports and these ports are now going to be placed here. And once I place it here, this long thing that you see is what is called as the telescope. This is the ca this houses the camera, and this is what is going to help us see. Point the scope at the target anatomy, then press and hold the targeting button. So this is the this is the camera, and this is how we move the robotic uh, arms. So now you have seen how the robo has docked. So now I will take you to the last part of the robo that is the surgeon's console. Now this is where the surgeon sits and operates. This is where the action is. This is the part from where the surgeon is going to control the robo. This cart is there in the operation room. A lot of people think that the surgeon is sitting somewhere sipping margaritas and operating from there. It doesn't happen. You are actually in the operation theater you have to be close to the patient. As of now, the technology doesn't allow you to go and operate from a remote location. So this is where I sit and this is where how we control the robotic, uh, robotic arms. This is how I sit inside and you can see that the robotic arms are moving when I move my joysticks here. Can you see that? So this is how my movements are. You can see that the instrument, as I was telling you, can move 360 degrees. Okay, completely you can rotate it, you can bend it, you can move it down, up. Similarly, my camera can move up and down. You can see that. And this is how the instrument helps us in dissecting. So these are the this is the extreme range of movements that can happen when you're using a robo. So folks, that was all about robotic surgery. I'm sure you, are, you agree with me that it's an amazing technology and a great addition to the surgical armamentarium. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to know more about robotic surgery, do not forget to press on the bell icon and subscribe to our channel because more informative videos are coming soon. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.